Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Outbreak! Outbreak! The plague! And all kinds of other diseases. Now look, folks, the flu is still spreading across America like wildfire. We have 50 people have died this winter from the flu in Indiana alone. The number is up over 100 in California. It's spreading across the nation. It's the worst outbreak of the flu since 100 years ago, the flu of 1918 that killed almost 50 million people. Now, while that's going on, though, in uh, uh, Zambia, there is an outbreak of biblical proportion uh, taking place there of cholera. Now, over 3,100 cases reported, but they, our reports are they're burying people by the hundreds in Zambia. Zambia's government says it will ease some of the emergency measures it introduced to try to stop this uh, cholera outbreak. Um, but it is, it is scary what's going on there. And uh, now the government says that, it is that, that the uh, cholera outbreak killed 72 people um, over the weekend. And, uh, but they feel like they're getting their hands around this. I don't know about that. I'm not so sure they got their hands around this or not. And while that's going on, folks, we have a black death too, is what they're calling it. A strange eye bleeding fever that's spreading like wild in the, uh, um, country of Uganda. Reports are a girl just dropped dead with symptoms that is uh, extremely contagious viral disease that can kill up to 40% of the people that are infected. She had contracted this bizarre new disease with the similarities to uh, the Congo hemorrhagic fever. Uh, the disease usually spreads by tick bites or contact with infected livestock can cause uh, muscle pains, headaches, vomiting, diarrhea, and bleeding of the eyes. Now what's happening, uh, a panic is spreading in Uganda after the sudden death of a girl there. A rapid response health team has rushed from the local hospitals with a body bag to collect her remains and prevent any possible outbreak. Health teams have disinfected the girl's home after she died um, Thursday night and didn't give her grieving family any details about when they could have her body back. Matter of fact, spreading to local media, family members uh, are saying that we are stranded on what to do because the health teams look away, took away the body. Now, we're waiting for the communication on how to set up burial arrangements. Well, what they're doing, they're testing the body. There's no doubt about this to try to figure out how potent and how, how this strain, this weird, strange, new bleeding of the eyes fever, uh, what is this? And local district health officers confirmed the blood samples from the girl's body had been handed over to the Uganda Virus Research Institute, but they haven't given any details to what they have found. Um, authorities at the hospital who didn't want to be named, said the body would be buried by the health teams due to the sensitivity about the outbreak. So they're not going to give the body back to the family. The health team is going to go ahead and just bury the body. Uh, this is how dangerous, how, how four people have died this past week in Uganda from the eye bleeding fever. And a lot of people are getting sick from it and are in bad condition. And so they're very concerned about what this means. They don't even know what this is. And you know, Jesus said in the last days there'd be wars, rumors of wars. Look, false Christ, false prophets shall rise. They'll deceive many. You'll hear of wars, rumors of wars. He said, see that you be not troubled though. For all these things must come to pass. The end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There's going to be famines, pestilences, earthquakes, divers places. All of these are the beginning of sorrow. Okay, so this is expected to happen. But now you have these massive cholera outbreak uh, in um, Zambia. You have that black death killing a lot of folks in Madagascar. You have the bleeding eye fever now in Uganda. 
you have uh, the flu outbreak of a biblical proportion across America. And, uh, and we had the, uh, just all kinds of stuff going on out there of different types of strains and mutated of diseases. And I don't know, I'm just saying, folks, this is why you need to read Psalms 91 and believe the word. You need to plead the blood of Christ over yourself and your family. You need to anoint your homes with oil in the name of Jesus. You need to not be afraid, but you need to use the authority you have in Christ. All right? The Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So let's use what we know. In the name of Jesus, let's use what we know. Don't miss tonight's Sunday Night Live. It will be powerful. What was this all about in Hawaii? Was it really about, were we really on the brink of nuclear annihilation? How can somebody push a wrong button? Or is this all a smokescreen to keep you from knowing what really is going on? I'll be back with more. Don't miss tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, Sunday Night Live at my website at www dot publiclyprophecy.com also at new live stream roku satellite television periscope facebook live youtube live everywhere live are you serious